Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a very cool technique and also an animal that it's um, one that I, sometimes we have problems to make something, you know, if they ask you for a cat, for a tiger, for a lion. But this is a very cool way to make a fast um, tiger. So let's just start with the tiger. Even that, the first one I saw, it was that lion. By making the lion, I saw Google, that image, and I was thinking, that's the design. So I decided to make the, and then after you know making it, I was thinking, wait a minute, it's gonna be even easier if this is a tiger, to just have to change the color. And it will be even cool if you wanna make it with any color and it's just a cat. So this can be the perfect way to make a cat, if a kid asks you for a kitty cat, if the kid asks you for a tiger, if the kid asks you for a lion. So I'm thinking, if we can make the tiger, we're gonna be able to make the rest, okay? So let's do that. Let's just start with this. But before I want to dedicate this video, this tutorial to someone very special because it's uh, Thomas McNulty. You always are so considerate. You always, you know, <laughs> collaborate with this channel. And I appreciate it so much, especially this is a very special thing because I'm planning to take it to Las Vegas Blim Blim Yam. The class I'm giving, at Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam, it's a lot about glue dots. So that's something uh, really cool. I'm gonna take it so then I can share it. If you don't know, you watching this channel, what are you? What I'm talking about? Glue dots. It's this type of rolls, and if you open it, it's like a lot of little tapes made out of uh, like silicone. So you can see those circles, and that's gonna what well, is save you time. It's a little bit of cheating. But it's not that bad because you can show all your talent when you are making balloons. You are showing the talent while um, you are also twisting, you know, the design. It's not like, oh, it's gonna be glued up. It's just a little toe, touch, like a little nose, a little ear, you know? So that's gonna, because this is used a lot for decor, balloon decor, when you're making those garlands, you know? But for balloon twisters, this can be a very, you know, like, like the last touch for a design even to attach butterflies, to attach any, you know, 3D sticker thing, you know, whatever, it's gonna help that a lot. It's a very important tool, and I'm gonna talk about it in the class that I'm doing at Bling Bling Jam, Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam. I'm leaving this weekend, so I'm so excited. And I haven't packed yet. <laughs> like, ah, oh, man, lots to do. But now I wanna share with you this design. So let's start it. You will need a 260 balloon white, or the thing is, it can be ivory. So. With the ivory or the white 260, you have to do these shapes. Look at these shapes. I teaching you this before. So I just wanted to, you to understand a lot of the things I already teach you. If you play, you're gonna get into the same things I'm making right now already. Because it's just plain. Use your imagination, your creativity, and you will discover a lot of things already. Um, out of balloons, different designs. So now I have here my balloon Decomex orange, which is really cool because they are not that thick as a 160 quality of metallics. So that can be a very cool way for me to use them. They are cheaper, you know, and the cool thing is <laughs> like, I can have enough to make, you know, the body for this tiger. So this time I'm gonna use 160 but it's Deco Max. So what I'm doing is I'm inflating it, leaving like approximately eight finger tail. Yeah, so I'm gonna blow the other one because I know it's gonna be just in case I'm not sure but I think it's gonna be like two balloons this orange 160 the Ecomex or you can try with 260 of course but then for the tail I think it looks better with a 160 now um then you this what is this I'm gonna grab a balloon so you can see what I'm doing so because the cool thing is if I use um black I mean white it's gonna hard to see so I'm gonna go with ivory because I already have, you know, white in my body, so. And, oh, let's try with blush. Because any color lighter than the color you're making, the orange, lighter, blush, ivory, toffee, you know, white, can be great for the paws, this part of the tiger, and the eyeballs too. So, I'm just blowing this approximately, like, nine finger tail. And what you need to do is, you're gonna start making two finger bubble, Pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, another two finger bubble, 
pinch twist, another two finger bubble pinch twist. So you're having four pinch twists there. You're gonna cut them and leave a tip. Leave a tip, pew, 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 okay? Leave it, then you lose a little bit of hair to tie it, so you tie it. And then you're gonna make three finger bubble, soft and squishable. Another three finger bubble, soft and squishable. And then you're gonna twist these two together, lock them and double pinch twist, look. Double pinch twist, that way you will have something like this. You cut, leave it a tip, yeah, you leave a tip. And then you keep going for the last detail that is gonna be one finger bubble. And then tie them like a pinch twist idea. And then another twist, 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 twist. You have like a finger there in between. And then you're gonna twist another one finger bubble and squeeze the air, tap, balloon scrap. You don't need it anymore for this design. And you can just tie, okay? Let's have something like this. These things are very useful for a lot of things. So when you're making a kitty cat or you're making a, a tiger or you're making a lion, you know, you can use this thing, this same thing. Um, a lot of animals actually, but even a doggy. Hmm. Okay, so let's keep going. We have that part, we have the other part. Now we need the main part that is the quick links. A lot of things you can make using quick links and I have already a balloon class I'm gonna give on Austin, Texas. It's gonna be the Austin Convention for Entertainers in Austin, Texas. And it's gonna be on September, September 19. If you can make it to that class, it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna be all about making fast, cute, awesome designs using quick links. And that's gonna be only one part. That class is gonna have also another part that is gonna be how to make that awesome princess design that I know you wanna see how I made it, but I'm saving that tutorial for that class in Austin, Texas. The cool thing about that class is gonna be a five hour class, you and me making so cool things. And the best part of all is I'm planning to take the balloons with me to share it with all of you. That means you don't have to worry if you don't have that specific balloon for the design. I'm taking it all, you know, I'm taking all balloons, you know, so then we can all play with those balloons because that's the idea about the quick links. You just got, grab back, uh, uh, ba uh, get a bag of assortment colors first and then play with those. You can make a lot of different animals, a lot of different things. It's very cool playing with quick links. But in case you don't have quick links, so if I don't, this is a quick link, this is a regular five inch round balloon. So whatever you have with you available is awesome. Now, I'm thinking, if you want to make it fast, quick links totally is going to save you time, but it's not impossible to make it with rounds. So it's going to be orange. So this is a five inch round or you already inflated, doesn't have any holes, so that's good. And if you have a round, you will need a little thing like this. That is, I call the racing pins. And it's just a chunky piece that you make it by tie it two or three times in the same spot. Well, you need to put this as a balloon, you put it inside, and then you flay your balloon, you flow, and if you don't know that this balloon doesn't have any hold, you flay it all the way, and then you lose some air, and then you get until something that it fits in the palm of your hand, fits there perfect, okay? Tie the very close to the nozzle. Then I'm gonna grab this part. I just don't want this there to get squishy because it's very soft right now. The balloon very soft and squishable. You're gonna grab the racing bean, twist a little bit, and now we have ready one of these 160s. Why 160s? Because I think it's gonna make things. Um, it's easier to play with 160s. Your hands doesn't get that tired but also they seem for some way longer than a regular 260. And this is a 160 Decomex. What I like about Decomex 160s is they're not that skinny. So for this type of balloon uh, technique using, you know, linking balloons and or quick links, they go, these are really cool combination. The Decomex 160 and the quick links. Now, where to get Decomex? I found it on Bargain Balloons. That's the balloon store. I love to buy my balloons there. Why? Because 
they've been treating me very nice all these years. You see, also LA Rocks, but I feel sad with LA Rocks that they have a lot of things out of stock, out of stock. And it's like, oh, I know very nice too. A lot of places that are out of stock. Just continental sales, it's, they don't even gonna attend you. They're gonna give preference to their old clients. So um, I'm not at all, I guess. <laughs> I'm not at all tired. So bargains balloons, I think I recommend it yet. Now, what you have to do is attach it. There. Tie it. It's there. Oh, make sure it doesn't have any holes. So if that happens, it's okay. See, I feel that it had a little hole. So I'm just saving it by tying it again. And there you go. You have to just play gentle. You will see, oh, doesn't have any hole. I'm trying to listen and I don't hear any So the balloon is fine. Now from here, there's a lot of ways to start this design. I'm gonna start it with the ears. So I'm gonna make three finger bubble loop, another three finger bubble loop, twist. And then in the middle, I like to touch the pinch twist, three pinch twists. That's something um, I find a good idea. It's gonna help you to split the ears. So I'm making just three pinch ears. Okay, so you have something like that. Look, let me look, show you. Three finger loop, one pinch twist, two, three. Three pinch twist, another three finger loop. Then you can just have it there for a moment. And this piece, you have to squish all the way to the bottom. And look how I'm doing it. I grab here, it's like a four or five finger long. And then this is gonna stay soft and squishable. Very gentle, you're gonna grab like a one or two finger bubble and then i'm gonna pinch twist now a lot of things you have to kind of like considering it's all about practice and this is one of those with practice you're gonna be making this much easier okay so you have this when you have that you're gonna just squish this and pass it through there when you are here you're gonna make a loop and twist and you're gonna make the other side another loop and twist that's it well make sure that loops are kind of the same size because are, those are representing cheeks so like two or three finger loop will be good with the rest cut it yep you just cut it take it out pass it around and that's it. So you have something like this so far. Okay, I'm gonna just accommodate it so you can see what I'm hiding here. Something like this. You have this in the front, this in the side. Now, what else from here? You wanna grab your second balloon, 160 orange, and you decide. Uh, you wanna start with the tail. So it go down, two, Tum, tum. No, it's better start from this piece. That way it's gonna go down, tum, 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 and then the rest you can play how long you want the tail to be. Okay, so let's start it, attaching it right here. Tie it, make two pinch twists, one and two, and then twist. Okay, now from here you can make the legs as long as you want, depending what animal you are playing with. So this animal is a tiger, so it doesn't have to be that long. So you can measure no more than four finger long. Twist, twist, twist. Then another four finger long. And it's gonna go actually this way to make things faster. This way, all the way to the other side. So it's gonna make that shape, okay? And then you twist, and then you're gonna accommodate it right here. There. And you're gonna measure four finger bubble. And you can pass this through like here like this if that came out it's fine don't worry because you can always twist it again you see um if that came and twist we just twist it again and pretty soon this is gonna go back with a four finger bubble and twist it all and lock things you know so that's pretty much the design this is a very cool way to make cute bodies perfect for line twisting even 
uh, what else you can make with these um, birthday parties, you know, designs, a lot of designs. So then from here, you can ask the kid, how long do you want your tail? Or the tail of your tiger, so they can give you an idea, or you can just do what I'm doing right now, something like this, yeah. And then I'm just gonna measure this long. Cut, you don't need this anymore. So I have it here, like, now, that's it. So you have that. You can always accommodate the tail even higher, like this, if you prefer, whatever you prefer, okay? Um, what else from here? You just need here to attach, um, what is, what is, what is? That, oh, these things we did with the ivory, and actually we did it with the blush. So let's start with the two, two finger bubble pinch twist. You just have to touch it right in here. So you just accommodate it there, pass this around, turn it around, and there we go. So things have to be something like this. Now, okay, you have something like this, look. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what else? You are going to grab the four bubbles you make with the blush and touch it right here. In the bottom. It's like putting pieces together. That's what it is pretty much. Okay. When you have this, you can accommodate the pinch trees the way you prefer, but pretty much that you can just leave it that way, whatever it is there. Okay? So you have the you have this. Okay, so then from here, you just have the pinch twist you make and you're gonna attach it right here. So that's gonna be eyes. Now, what else you need? It's the nose. What color, whatever balloon scrap you have. If you have brown, if you have black. So I'm gonna use my brown because that's what I have. But if you have black, good. So whatever you have, you don't need that much. You just can make, look, like a one finger bubble tied it or you can just use the end of this balloon so whatever you have there you tied it you you cut uh the small part this one you cut it if you want so that way you have this okay so having this you can always pre-made it but you just attach it there so here is gonna be a very um already kind of like people are gonna be able to see oh yes i can see it it's so cute so, mm -hmm. so let me let me put it right look look how cute is this idea it's very very awesome and now you just have to um play with the eyes and you sharpie time doesn't have to be that elaborated you just grab some black and you just make a circle black and then you can make some eyebrows. You can also make some, what, whiskers. Look, you can make some um, pew, 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 dots. Okay. Let me see, that, that how it kind of look crazy. Now, if you have more time, of course, it's gonna help the stripe for this. And the same, if you wanna make a white tiger, using white it's gonna work why not so look the stripes helps a lot the design to look more like a tiger so just you know take your time or make it fast as you can with a good sharpie it's gonna be able to mark things you know faster so now this is a, a way what else you can add to this design if you have more time if you have a balloon strap pink it's a balloon scrap, very little, why not? You can inflate it, you just need a very little bubble, so that's why any balloon scrap will work. Very little bubble. And then you just tie it, and you have little tip, that's fine. You just squish it, and pass it around one time, it's gonna be good enough. And just uh, attach it there, you see? Oh, so look at this 
Look how cute can make a little piece, extra little piece that is your balloon scraps. Whatever I think can make your design even cooler. You have another color, blue or green, and you just pass it around the eyes. So the eyes are gonna be them green. But just if you pass it with the side, you see, and sometimes you have the time. And you may think no, but it can make something like this. This is pretty much the design. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? If you like it, don't forget, uh, your comments helps a lot too, to make this channel, you know, more uh, popular. So more people can learn, more people can see the videos. Um, what um, wristbands are a cool idea because then the kids will not lose it. They will keep it here with them. This can be attached also into a headband, into a, you know, wand. But for me, and I know these kids love it, uh, it's not that a problem. Parents love it if you have wristbands. And these ones are from the dollar store. So you just touch it and put it into the kid. The kid are like, ah, so cute. <laughs> so this is the first design you're going to be making, practicing. And I will try to make the other ones that, for example, it will be the kitty cat. Now, this can be, it can, it can work for a kitty cat, yes. Maybe some things you can make it smaller or, or different, totally. It's all depending, you know. But look, you see this design? Also, you can make this design even if you want, the kids want, it can be also a dog. It can be so many things, you know. I see their face and it can be many, many things. You just play with that idea. I don't want to make this video much longer, but trust me, this one, it's totally the same idea. It's just the yellow, you know, the, the ears, they came down and straight went all this part, the legs. But then put some brown or orange can be for the mane, you know. So they, they are, the lions usually you can play with orange for the body, yellow for the mane, or yellow for the body, brown for the mane or orange. So play with that idea. Um, and that's pretty much the design. Um, the rest is very similar what we did, you know, because those, they, they are cats. Okay, have a wonderful day. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out in the description of all my videos. You will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because you're, Collaboration, like donating to my Benmo or PayPal account, totally, it's very well appreciated and totally motivates me, you know, to keep, you know, thinking about this channel and the ideas and all the tutorials I want to share with you. Yes, it's true. It's not, it's, you know, something important. I try to, you know, keep it always, you know, for free, but, you know, then it's always the balance. You know, I have to always make sure I can, you know, feel that I'm um, uh, able to afford, you know, this uh, privilege to have balloons and make balloons and, and twist and share and teach. So if you can collaborate, anything, and the ideas, you know, I have in my mind are on the description of all my videos. So you can check out all the ideas, or if you have all the ideas, let me know. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.